That was intense. So far, welcome back to the Emerald. What was the line? Tablets of Toth. Oh, yes. We are going to go on. It's going to be a little bit of a road trip. We're going to be sinking our minds and bodies into the dweller of Unal. What the heck? Okay, I guess. Yeah, you've been looking at uh, backwards. Um, writing the whole time. Congratulations. That's not good. I was doing different things on numbers, so some of the things would look right, but others would not, because it is backwards. Maybe that's the key to the tablet, so what can it be? Yes, could be, lo yes, another way of looking at it, could be lo looking at it from the backwards, <laughs> through the mirror, you know, like Leonardo da Vinci, I just saw a thing on there, Leonardo da Vinci would, um... Um, yeah, Leonardo da Vinci um, did mirror uh, like things in his painting. That's why like the Mona Lisa was apparently the last 16 years of his life. Uh, yeah, last 15 years of his life. So 16 years, I mean. So uh, something to that. There's all kinds of codes in our days. I wouldn't be surprised if Leonardo da Vinci had some kind of... Uh, relation to uh, Toth, in a way, if he was not an incarnation of Toth, it, who knows, you know, as there might be an infinite amount of ways to interpret this in different codes of infinity, like, there is just so much, and with the numbers and stuff, uh, we got 11, 6, 8, 22, 3, 11, 4, 9, 7, 5, 1, 11, 11, or 11, 1, 4, 4, 8, 11, 6, 4, 7, 11, 8, 5, 33, 4. Yeah, I, I just took the um, ones that were all in caps and I did made sure to put numbers, uh, figure out their numerology. Super exciting. I haven't come to any freaking conclusion except that there's probably something to the numerology but i don't know i mean i've seen some patterns there's a lot of 11 33 11 11 33 11 um there was lots of 11s i mean a crazy amount of 11s but that's to be expected because after the name uh after the number goes past 11 then there's always gonna, there's never gonna be a two again, so the chances of getting an eleven are pretty, pretty good. But uh, regardless, I have found, but eleven is still apparently a powerful number, and why wouldn't there be a lot of powerful numbers compared to non-powerful numbers? I mean, so it's perfectly acceptable for an eleven. So let's do it. Okay, the dweller of Unal, um, fifth tablet. Tablet 5, Tablet 5, Part 1. This is the beginning of Tablet 5. So, how's everyone feeling about the tablets of top today? I'm feeling, well, indifferent at the moment. But regardless, we're going to get into it anyway. Because I look freaking crazy. And this is why people probably want normal people um, talking about this stuff. Because... Um, yeah, people get scared off by the enthusiasm, of course. It is unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. Um, but, man. So you can't be too enthusiastic, otherwise it's going to turn people off too. But, you know, if you're already into this, you're already into this. So, you know, might as well listen to it. Might as well have a good time. Okay. Oft dream I of buried Atlantis, lost in the ages that have passed into night. Aeon, on Aeon thou existed in beauty, a light shining through the darkness of night. Mighty in power, ruling the earthborn. Lord of the earth in Atlantis' day. King of the nations, 
Master of Wisdom. Okay, so. He obviously, um, you know, maybe got frustrated. It's, it's not always about him either, though. Um, off to dream of buried Atlantis, lost in the ages, and pestilence in the night. Yeah. Aeon to Aeon. Aeon to Aeon. On Aeon. Um, that existed in beauty. Now, I know Aeon to Aeon has to do with time, like a certain amount of time, and it also there was a definition of it. I, an indefinite and very long period of time, often a period exaggerated for humorous or rhetorical, rhetorical effect. I can't talk anymore. <sighs> so... Well, I assume it's for rhetorical effect, and I looked what, oh crap, I, I was going to mark down rhetorical too, just to get the definition of that. Yeah, I think it had to do with, like, a rhetorical, rhetorical, I mean, everyone's heard of it, like, it's a rhetorical question. Um, rhetorical, rhetorical, I don't know, rhetoric, rhetoric, it's for rhetoric. I don't know, something compelling, I don't know. Or rhetorical question that is not meant to be answered. Or Okay, jeez, I've lost it, people. I used to be able to interpret this amazing. What is it gone? But I'm going to try anyway. We're going to get through this. And, I mean, I'm sure it will come to me anyway. My eyes are really bloodshot right now. Oh, yeah. I oh yeah, yeah, look at my eyes go look at all. Let's see the hexagon in the eyes. No, okay, please, okay. Stick to the script. The script is just the tablets itself. Off the dreams. Dream I buried Atlantis lost in the ages of past in the night. They have passed in the lies, but they've also um but it also was buried, you know, like with water. So and the Andale existed in beauty. Like many ages, like for a long time. And it, it sounds more poetic to say Aeon on Aeon. Thou existed in beauty, a light shining through the darkness of night. A light shining through. So, with all the lies out there, it's not always about lies, but what has to do with night, could have to do. With the truth, a truth, a beauty shining through the darkness of night, a mighty in power, ruling the earthborn, lord of the earth in Atlantis's day. It was the center. <clears throat> King of the nations, master of wisdom. I got numerology all in all this. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that quite yet, unless I see a pattern, which we shall see. Why not? What the hell? It's for me anyway. Who cares? Okay. I care. I do care. <sighs> Light through sun tall. It's 11 and a 6. Light through sun tall. Light through sun tall. Which, I mean, I, I just kind of was um, <clears throat> thinking friends-wise having to do with the high... I know it's backwards. But, um, light through sun tall uh, is 11 and a 6. And I haven't double-checked my math on these, so hopefully they're accurate. I was thinking of, okay, the light, which would be an 11 through sun tall... Um, which would be a six. If you actually found a life path 11 and a life path six, keeper of the way. So maybe 11 and six would be the way to find 
keeper of the way, dwelt in his temple. Which is an eight. The master of Unal. Master is 22. Powerful number. That makes sense. Uh, Unal is three. Yeah, that's right, math. Okay, just making sure. Light of the earth and Atlantis's day. Light is 11. Master of Unal. Unal is 3. Master is 22. Well, for some reason, I felt like doing numerology this time. Uh, this is like the numerology... Um, now, all the rest of the videos are not necessarily going to be new, numerology based, but I do feel that I need to look more into that as a way of studying the Emerald Tablets um, numerologically, even though it might not translate from the native language, which I would love to get a hold of because it needs to freaking, there needs to be an actual native language so you can hear it in the original tongue people uh yeah uh, maybe there is one that i have not but i've not found okay <sighs> dwelt in this heap of the way lord of the earth in atlantis's day yes atlantis in the nation's master of wisdom light through Sun Paul, keeper of the way, dwelt in his temple. <coughs> Eight. Okay. Keeper of the way, dwelt in his temple. So this is talking about Atlantis. So yeah, it's just a, Okay, okay, after darkness of night, mighty in power is like a new star, kind of. Uh, mighty in power, ruling the earth, born low to the earth, and you know, it's the king of the nations, master of wisdom, light through sun tall, keeper of the way. So that's like, yeah. Different combinations together might be something too, like an 11 and a 6, or the next is 22 and a 3, 11. Four, nine, seven, and then five and one are together. Yeah, intense. So this is the end of numerology. Emerald tablets at top. <laughs> the dweller of Unal. Unal. The Dweller. Dweller is 33. So that's pretty interesting. So. Okay. Let's see. Keeper of the Way dwelt in his temple. The Master of Unal. So the Master of Unal is the King of the Nations. Master of the Wisdom. Light through. Sun tall. Keeper of the Way dwelt in his temple. The Master of Unal. <laughs> That's a cool... Okay. King of the Nations. Mighty in power, the rule, ruling the earthborn, lord of the earth. In Atlantis' day, king of the nations. Master of wisdom, light through sun tall. Keeper of the way, dwelt in his temples. The master of Unal. Light through sun tall. Light, truth through Suntal. Suntal is six, so. Truth grow goes through six. A person that was six, maybe, or something. I mean, that, that's just one way of looking at it. So, of, of thinking these numbers could be, you could represent as human beings life past six, which is, or like I'm a life past six. Um, I had a friend who was Life Path 11. I actually have a couple friends that are Life Path 11. Um, but it's just, yeah, stuff to think about. Um, and.
keeper of the way dwell without certain things um, I'd like to know my friend Ira what his life path number is because I mean if it, his was an 8 that would be like 11 and a 6 and an 8 oh man oh my the master 22 of an all is 3 Light three some tall, keep of the way, dwelt in his temple. The master of Unal. Light three some Keeper of the way, dwelt in his temple. The master of Unal. Dwelt, keep of the way. <coughs> of Uno. Light of the Earth in Atlantis Day. Master He from a cycle beyond us. Living in bodies as one among men. So he's already conquered this state of mind, or, I mean, or consciousness level. And he has already ascended onto the next level. That's what, that, what, that is what makes him a master. Uh, but I believe somewhere in here it says that we're in the 14th out of... 23 dimensions or something like that and kind of like cycles I guess son of a cycle son is nine son of a cycle advanced beyond men I think son is kind of like uh, light and it's the beginning and son of a cycle advanced beyond men but he already said that it was a cycle beyond us. Why did he have to repeat it? it be, but it was. It has to do with the words. It has to do with the pattern of the words. It has to do with. I'm going to focus on numerology of this. It's going it, it has to do with getting us to focus on certain um, things. It, it's it's not just going to be said for no reason. Um, it doesn't need to say advance beyond men because it's you know it's already said from a cycle beyond us living in bodies as among men not as the earthborn he from beyond us he which is four from beyond us son which is nine of sun in this case of a cycle advanced beyond men Know ye, O oh man, that Horlet, the master, was never one with the children of men. Maybe he, he skipped a cycle, a bunch of cycles. He was a really smart entity. That's what I'm going to go with. I have all kinds of random thoughts in my head right now that I can't get out fast enough before it just swithers away. It's very unfortunate. But it gave me some for some good controversial TV. Oh man. Or phone V. Wait. iPhone. Some videos. Oh man. Okay. So Horlet. H O R L E T. Horlet is a seven, approximately, apparently. The master, the master is a 22. Seven plus 22, oh, equals 11. So maybe that makes him an 11. I'm not really sure on the numerology of it. But, oh man, that Horlet, Horlet, the master. Know ye, oh man, that Horlet, the master, was never... Well, 
like he was never oh I, okay I see why he kind of repeated it maybe the horror the, the master was never one with the children of men um he's saying know ye like hey dude he's never been one of you far in the past time when Atlantis first grew as a power appeared there one with the key of wisdom with the key of wisdom key is um, all caps and wisdom so that's key is five and wisdom is one Wisdom would be better. It would be like some kind of 11 or 33 or 22. I mean, I think it would, I would hope it would be 22. You know, 4 plus 9 plus 1 is 14, 18, 24, 28. Dang it. No. Okay, so here, there, one with the key of wisdom. Far in the past time when Atlantis first grew as a power, appeared there one with the key of wisdom. A guy that was a five and a person that was a one. That's probably not exactly. Showing the way of light to all. Showing the eleven. Maybe then it's like I show the light to all, which is an eleven. And then I show uh a one to all, and then a two, and then a three. I don't know, different patterns to look for, but I'm sure it's not that simple. I'm sure there are things that are pretty simple for also, so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, showing the way of light to all. Excuse me. Oh, man, far in the past time when Atlantis first grew its power appeared there one with the key of wisdom. Come on down. Showing the way of light to all. The key went into the door of wisdom, okay? And when it opened, the truth spilled out. And showed he to all men the path of attainment 